have a practice if with either one or two children every night. It's possible for kids to play competitive sports year round. Others, though, choose to focus on just one sport. But is that good for your child's health? The National Athletic Trainers Association released new guidelines this week, encouraging parents to scale back. We'd like to know what you think. At what age should kids begin to specialize in a single sport? You can vote right now on the WBIR app or through WBIR.com slash vote. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin talked to parents and experts about those guidelines. Your sport of choice can vary, but the time commitment doesn't. And I can remember growing up, you know, we would have after school practices and maybe one or two games a week. Mother Corey Dixon has nine year old twins who are plenty active. Now I feel like our children have got something every single day. The National Athletic Trainers Association says that kind of schedule can take a toll on a young body. They released guidelines to help parents assess how much their kids play competitive sports. It says young athletes shouldn't play a single sport for more than eight months a year. They shouldn't participate in a sport for more hours per week than their age and should have at least two days off per week from training and competition. The association says parents should wait as long as they can before having their kids specialize in one sport because focusing too much on one sport can lead to feeling burned out or an increase in injury chances. Devin Driscoll owns D1 Harden Valley, which trains kids as young as seven years old to help them achieve their athletic goals. He says he sees more injuries and burnout than he used to and says it could be due to the business-like nature of youth sports. Youth sports is a massive business, and people want to be part of that, and that's unfortunate because it shouldn't be about that. For Dixon, she plans to move forward by being open with her kids. If you can do that and, and you see that there is that passion in that child's eyes and that's what they want to do and you can encourage and support that, I think that's great. But if you find a situation where it is a kicking and screaming and they don't want to go, it might be time to do something else. Driscoll says communication is key. And I think that's important, whether it be here or at school or wherever else, is that those athletes have someone they can communicate with that that person then can communicate with the parent. Because sometimes they're not going to tell the parents everything. In Knoxville, Sean Franklin, 10 News. Dixon says it is important for parents to ask their kids about their schedule and how their body feels. Also, we asked you what you think. When should students specialize in a sport. Fewer than 50 of you have voted so far, but most of you saying you should never specialize.